Got a new speaker in the house. Kurt Metzger is excited about it. So is Misha Michelada. Am, Me, myself. Mike Johnson. Mike, Mike Johnson. Um, his stands on Ukraine, right? I think that was one of the first things that came to mind when people said, all right, where is this guy going to stand on Ukraine? That was my first question. Okay. Because I... I know that we're leaving Ukraine to go back to our first wife, Israel. Mm -hmm. But I, I really, uh, is it weird that I just now really am starting to get Zelensky? I admit not getting it before, but I just became a fan now yeah. as, as the trend is ending. There has been a split in the House GOP over aid to Ukraine for its war against Russia, making the passage of some recent bills a tough hill to climb in the lower chamber. President Biden announced that the sending of a budget request to Congress requesting aid for both Israel and Ukraine in a speech last Thursday, a frightening speech, by the way, the request is expected to be about a hundred billion. I heard it's one Oh five with a large portion of the funds for Ukraine. So that's like, as you're leaving your, 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 your love or your side piece, you give her a little extra money because you're not going to see her again. Oh, because she's blackmailing us? It's like the last <laughs> piece of jewelry you give your side piece before you leave. It's, it's the nicest money. one because it's like, all right, there you are. You're you, done. You, that's what you do? Johnson made a strong support, uh, strong statement in support of Ukraine and its effort to fight back against Russia in the wake of the invasion in February 2022. Which this is something we need to talk about, too, as well, because I can't wait to hear Kurt's opinion about this. <laughs> because, Thank you. <laughs> because... Really, to tell you the truth, I mean, the whole Ukraine situation, why you started pushing back against it when it became poli politically expedient or, or politically advantageous. Oh, wait a second. This is Biden's war. I can blame Biden. So now it can be against war. Oh. Like I said, when the war machine was sitting around a room and going, man, we're having problems with some Republicans getting involved and being j going all in on war uh, because of Ukraine. They said, hold my beer. And then Israel happened. Uh, we should impose a dehabilitating sanctions on Russians, Russia's eco economic interest, Johnson mm. said in the statement posted to X, uh, the platform then known as Twitter. We should return to the robust American energy production to provide greater stability and security here and for our European allies and friends. Mm. We should exclude Russia from the global commerce and international institutions, even though the best time to take these actions has passed. We must act decisively. So he's an idiot. In April 2022, he voted uh, for the Ukraine Democracy Defense Lend-Lease Act of 2022. Listen to the way that sentence sounds. Defense Lend-Lease Act of 2022, a bill that aimed to ease the process for the U.S. to send military aid to Ukraine. The bill was later signed by the President uh, Joe Biden Wait, and became law. They couldn't just keep going through Hunter? Okay. I don't know. However, in recent times, he has taken a skeptical stance towards aid in for Ukraine. Excuse me. He voted against two different appropriation bills that provided aid to Ukraine, one in 2022 and the other last month. So he has seemed to come around a little bit, Kurt. American mm. taxpayers have sent over $100 billion in aid to Ukraine in the last year, Johnson said in an ex post uh, in February. They deserve to know if... The Ukrainian government is being entirely forthcoming and transparent about the use of the massive sum of taxpayer resources. He must have not seen. Uh, uh, so he saw. Uh, that what's her name? Uh, Elizabeth Warren and Lindsey Graham go over there with Dick wait, Blumenthal. Wait 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 wait, 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 wait. So this. So he saw that stupid nonsense. I guess because he's supposed to say it. What back stupid then. nonsense? The, th the last thing he said before they, w yeah. they sent the money over. We should sanction Russia and blah blah blah. Okay. Yes. So. When they did that to help Ukraine, it didn't occur to them at the time there should be something in there where we audit what happens to the stuff we send to Ukraine. Like, did he just figure out then that we're not keeping track and we're just throwing the money there? Well, he, listen, he just figured that out. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe he did. I'm asking. I'm not saying it like no. I mean, listen. I, I he's not the only one who hasn't been able to figure that out too, as well. I mean, that's something that Rand Paul or you know uh, Thomas Massey would probably demand from the. From the Jump Street, you know, like, okay, if you're going to send money over there, we got to know how every dollar spent. I think it was the 60 Minutes report that Ukraine, Zelensky eventually told him to take down, where they said only 30% is hitting the front line. In other words, if they 60% hit the front line, they probably wouldn't have bitched. But when only 30% hit the front line, wait, now we need to see that itemized bill With of CBS. everything that's being spending. And I think because some of the money was going to... Uh, through FBX. Uh, by the way, that... FTX? FTX. Uh, SBF. Sam, Sam Bankman-Fried Bankman from yes. FTX 
which he's getting ready to testify. We don't even have a story about that, but he's about to hit the stands too with winning that. But once they saw a lot of that money coming back to certain people, Democrats and Republicans, and he wasn't on that list, maybe that's when you could put your hand up and you would look, you know, more like a, uh, I I would say a gatekeeper of sorts when it comes to finances. After gaining the gavel, Johnson was asked whether he supports additional aid to Ukraine. Uh, We all do. (laughs) We all do. We are. Not we all do not. Uh, We are going to have to have conditions on that. So we're working through, Johnson said, while walking through the Capitol in a clip posted Wednesday to X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. Uh, We want accountability. And we want objectives that are clear from the White House, Johnson later said in a response to a question about what conditions would be. So it's really not about the whole ideology about and the mindset about like, hey, man, maybe we shouldn't be funding a proxy war on the border with another nuclear power by giving money to Nazis to kill their own people. Maybe it's just like, hey, dude, we don't know where the money's going. Mm-hmm. So it's a fiscal thing. It's not a humanitarian thing. Does that make sense? Look, I. All these people, man, I got no faith. Even look, you got Laura Luma, Loomer up here now. Yes. She's the one that's calling for someone to be fired. She's calling for censorship. For and censorship. I texted her about it yesterday, too, as well. Um, she said she's not censoring. She's doing a counterterrorism argument is what she was trying to say. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. And I said that was Goodbye. bullshit, Laura. You know, I don't want to. Sh- I don't want to share private texts and stuff and talk about it. But she tried to justify it that she's pushing back against terrorism. I'm like, yeah, this is like Iraq is all over again. Just and like, you know, yeah. It's censorship, yeah. But it's it's worse than that, dude. Everybody stovepiped into their own goddamn set of rules, like on purpose. This guy, who sounded very smart, taking down Mayorkas yeah. in that meaningless hearing, yeah, is dumb enough to think we should still support Ukraine, even though we, hey, maybe we should keep track of it. Well, let's listen. All to these him. people are full of shit. Let's listen to him then. Here, let's see what he's got to say. Ready? We all do. There, where's um. We're going to have conditions on that, so we're working through it. What kind, of, conditions? What kind of conditions? We want accountability, and and, uh, and and we want objectives that are clear from the White House. But we're going to have those discussions. It's going to be very productive. What objectives that are clear from the White wait, House? Wait, They've wait, lost wait. the goddamn wait, wait, war. Wait, wait. You know what? What? Now, you were right. I should have listened to him talk, because that could be. He's talking to the media, mm-hmm. you, the dumbest zombies alive. Mm-hmm. And if he goes, we want accountability, mm-hmm. and we want clear objectives from the start, mm-hmm. How honestly, the way he said that, I take that to mean, no, we're going to stop helping them. Because if you ask for those two things, the whole thing's over. Clear objectives, uh, an accountability. That the reason that Iraq and Afghanistan. But they they could always come up with some BS and give you clear objectives and accountability to come back. I mean, they, I'm they, just saying it could. They be. did Afghanistan for 21 years. They kept coming up with obje- more and more yes, objectives at all times. They were clear. They were not clear. So they I'm used just, colorful charts. No, no, no. Look, look, look. <laughs> they were. Get rid wait, of the wait, Taliban. Wait, wait, listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> okay? I'm not saying he's doing this or that. I'm saying the way he said that, it could actually mean that that's his way of saying, no, I won't support it. He knows how to speak moron journo. Mm-hmm. He knows how to speak idiot journalist. Mm-hmm. And those little indications are like, let's say if he really means that, what he said. Yeah. Remember um, his first statement. What? We all do. Yeah, but so what? This we all want to the, spend, you know. Okay, well, it's a statement to the media. Hey, we all support democracy. It's a statement to the media. Yeah. So you got to read between the lines. Yeah. So it, it maybe, I'm just, I'm not saying it definitely is. It could very well be that that's to get the hell off of that. Because those are impossible things to ask for. Right? All right. Yeah. How do you talk to the media? How would not I as have, well as he does. Well, no, not at all. But I mean, Matt Gates talks to the media pretty well and- not as good as him. That guy Matt Gates better. was pretty smart when he talked about ending this war as far as enough is enough. Matt, Matt Gates sounded more emotional. There are emotional. The, the people who have objected to this, the Republicans who have objected to this, have said, all right, enough is enough. They're already past the point of bringing up yeah. new clear Look, objectives. He might, They're past yes. the point of, of itemized bills and making sure that Wait, money gets to the front on, line. Hold on. All I'm done. Like, so I know, but none of that matters. He's speaking to the press on the way out. They're demanding to know if he still supports Ukraine. Yeah. All politicians on TV, whatever they're saying, you don't go by what they're saying, obviously. You go by reading between the lines. So he's speaking to the press. Yes. I got to give a soundbite. I can't give any accurate information or I wouldn't even get to this level of, of government. Mm-hmm. What is he saying to the press, really? He's going, sure, we all do. Okay, that means nothing. That means nothing. Mm-hmm. I support him, too. Yeah. Um, clear objectives. That, that kind of talk, I think, that he just said, Yeah. if it weren't for Israel right now, the whole press would be going, he's against Ukraine, based on him just saying that. 
Because calling for audits, as you recall, yeah. or clear objectives is tantamount to not supporting Ukraine back when we gave a rat's ass about them still. Okay, well, I put up a poll yesterday, Kurt, and this is what I said. When yeah. New Speaker Johnson came forth and said it with his first objective will be when he becomes the speaker. Okay. We're going to get to that next, and then I will ask you about the... I will ask you the poll I put up right now, you know what I'm saying? And then I, I listen to this section, mm -hmm. and it was after, you know, Mr. Johnson has made his first objective clear, what's going to happen with the funding bill that's being spent over, sent over? Is it going to be passed the way it is? We're talking about the 105, where $60 billion is going to your side piece, your ex-girlfriend that you got to leave because you got to go back to your wife, right? Mm -hmm. So $60 billion going to Ukraine, 14 for Israel, 10 for the border, 10 for Taiwan, 10 for humanitarianism. Is it going to be passed the way it is? Is it going to be voted down the way it is? Is it going to be rewritten to favor Ukraine, or is it going to be rewritten to favor Israel? Hey, come see us doing a, a live stand-up show in Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, Levittown, New York, Red Bank, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, Covina, California, Burbank, California, Oxnard, California, Venice, California, and Palmdale, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm -hmm.